What is chromatin? So chromatin is a DNA associated with some proteins. This image is a nucleus of a cell. So this is the chromatin. So just imagine the cell is a microscopic structure. The DNA is 2 meters long. Very long, right? That is, the DNA is 100,000 times bigger than the nucleus. So, a question that comes to your mind, how the DNA is compactly placed inside the nucleus of a cell? So, in each cell, the DNA is 2 meters long and the DNA is compactly packed inside the nucleus with the help of histones. And this is the histone proteins. There are about 5 histones we know of. H1, 2A, 2B, 3 and 4. H2A, 2B, 3 and 4. 2A, 2B, 3 and 4. So these 8 histones forms a group. So 8 histones form a group. 2A, 2B, 3 and 4 into 2. So the 8 histones form a group. And in this group, the DNA is going to wrap up twice. So the DNA is wrapped up twice on these 8 histone group. This is called a nucleosome. I'm going to show you another picture in a while. And remember, I didn't put the H1 here. Because H1 is going to play another important role. The H1 is a linker histone protein that stabilizes these nucleosomes. I'll show you another picture in a while. Remember this, the histones contain lysine and arginine. I said histones are proteins. So proteins are nothing but amino acids, am I right? So the histones contain lysine and arginine amino acids. Remember like histones are liars, liars, lysine and arginine. Okay, we'll move on to the next slide. So this is how the chromatin is arranged. Let me explain you. So this is the histone proteins. H2A, 2B, 3 and 4 into 2. And this forms a group. So the 8 histones form a group. And what is this? The DNA. In each cell, the DNA is around 2 meters long. So the DNA must be compactly placed inside the nucleus. So the histones are going to help for this process. So this DNA is going to wrap up twice on the histone groups. And what is this called? Nucleosome. So this is one nucleosome, another one, another one. To stabilize these nucleosome, we have H1 linker protein. So the H1 is going to stabilize these nucleosomes. So this is how the chromatin is arranged. Very interesting, right? Okay, so the chromatin can be in active or inactive state. Very important point. You can see some dark areas here and you can see some light areas here. In these dark areas, the DNA is transcriptionally inactive. That is, the DNA cannot be made into RNA. And this region is called heterochromatin so the transcriptionally inactive regions are heterochromatin and transcriptionally active regions so the light areas are transcriptionally active regions which is called euchromatin and this dark area is a nucleolus very rich in rnas